The community section in Figma is probably one of the most underrated places of the app and one of the most useful ones because it's filled with templates and plugins and useful widgets that you can apply in your projects. Whether you're just getting started with a project and you need an extra hand with finding some buttons for social logins, or you're trying to find some cool backgrounds for a social media ad that you're designing. In this video, I'm gonna take you through my top 10 free community files that you can download and use in your projects today. So let's get right into it. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into my top 10 favorite free community files in Figma. First of all, before we jump in, how do we even access this community section? If you don't know how to do it, it's very simple. If you have the desktop app for Figma, you'll be able to access it over here with this globe icon here. Once you do click on it, you should be taken to the home page of the community file. So from where you can go ahead and click these quick buttons to see some files or search for a specific one. As an example, Tailwind CSS and all the files will come up here. If you want to look at only free files, you can filter by free files and only files and templates. And you have all the files that you can use. And anytime you want to go back, simply click community over here and search again. So any of these files that I'm using, I'll be sharing the name of the file and you'll be able to search it here to access it. Once you see one that you want to download, let's say this one here, simply click open in Figma once you open it. And then Figma will go ahead and open that file here. And that's a great transition in no particular order into the first community file. Tailwind CSS. If you're using Tailwind components, or if you're working with a developer who's using Tailwind as the front end CSS library, then this community file is great. Now in this file, they have a ton of things uh, like breakpoints, different typesets, colors, spacing, border radius, and shadows. These are great to get inspiration from or just use it straight out of Tailwind CSS library. So check this one out if you do work with Tailwind. Next in my list is 3D holographic shapes. So if you're in need of 3D icons or 3D elements on your designs, it's one of the more popular trends in 2024 when it comes to UI UX design. Uh, and so this community file has a ton of holographic shapes like these cool spheres and stars and a ton of other cool funky shapes that I can't even name, but they look very cool indeed. And you can simply copy them from here and paste them in your design elements. Now, moving on to the next one. 39 shadow examples for your project. Now this one right here is amazing because not only does it come with shadow styles that you can preview here, but also if you are a developer or you do work closely with developers, which tends to be all designers, you can actually access the code here. So this is beautiful. If you have access to the CSS file or again, your developer has access to these, that will probably save them a lot of time and they have a ton of examples to be specific, 93 examples that you can apply. And all of them have interesting shadows, some with more complexity and some more simple like these ones here. So check that out if you're confused what shadows to use, because I know sometimes I'd like to refer to some sample shadows before applying one to my cards or buttons and so on. Next in the list is Apple's design resources. Of course, I couldn't leave this one out. If you do work with iOS and iPad OS apps, or you want to showcase that your app is a native app or running on an iPhone, this design library is for you because it comes with tons of components that if you're using an iPhone, you probably see it on the daily. That includes things like sidebars or menus, keyboards, 
home screens and a ton of other stuff in here that would probably take me the whole day to go through. You can even take samples from the home screen. So if you want to show your app in an in the home screen of an Apple iPhone, you can do that using this community file. And this is an official one by Apple's design resources. Finally, Apple has included Figma in one of the more popular design softwares, which I think it is the most popular design software and finally included a community file for us Figma lovers. Next one is beautiful liquid gradient backgrounds. Now, if you're like me and you like gradients and you need some backgrounds, well, this community file is for you. It comes with a few examples of beautiful gradients that you can simply copy and paste from in here to your own project or anywhere else. Next up, hand-drawn shapes. Now, who doesn't love some nice hand-drawn elements in our UI design components to really give it that skeuomorphic design and mimic some real life imperfect elements like these arrows uh, that point to things or like these squiggly lines and some more. I've already used a few of these in my presentation slides in my upcoming product design masterclass. Feel free to check the link below to check that out. Next one, Sally, which is also a 3D illustration pack. It comes with 30 plus 3D illustrations that you can use for free. Now, some of these community files come with a readme file or page. I do recommend you read those just to make sure that you're using these files correctly, because although they're free, they might still have certain permissions or agreements. Now, I love these illustrations. Who doesn't? They're all over the web now. And I think they really bring a playful characteristics to UI design, especially if uh, this sort of matches the branding of the, the app that you're designing for clients or your company and so on. They have a ton of cool stuff in there that I'll let you explore on your own. I've definitely used a few of these myself before. Moving on to Shape Collection. Shape Collection is a collection of shapes, as the title suggests, that are interesting to use in your project. And of course, these can be things that you can include in your design on the side, maybe in a landing page or wherever you see fit. Some of them are really interesting and unique. And they could be definitely good additions for your designs to really spice it up and add a sense of uniqueness and branding and styling to it. Next up, stunning multicolored splines. Splines? Splines? As the name suggests, you have these beautiful gradient infused slimes. Splines? I can never get it right. And you can copy and paste these directly in your file. And they have some full-size ones of them as well. Awesome. This one looks familiar. Last but not least, zoom gradient backgrounds. So this has a bunch of stuff already on top of it, like uh, the font, like the text here and the text over there. If you want, you can simply copy the background itself without these elements. If you could just go in there and delete the text and simply copy this frame as a background layer. So that covers my top 10 free community files that you can use in Figma. Now, if you've come across some that are really cool or interesting that you want to share, please do drop it in the comments below and I'm sure it will be useful to me or some other designers on here. And as a reminder, I do have a new product design masterclass that I've put together. There is a link below for you to get access to it. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.